Are you thinking of leaving California like a lot of us? According to the Edelman Research or Edelman Intelligence, they did a survey and they found that 53% of all Californians are thinking about leaving. Not that they can, but they are thinking about leaving. A few years ago, that number was only 49%. Also, there's a research shows that in 2019, 691,000 people left California. And also the net migration, people leaving out of California and people coming into California for the last four or five years has been negative. More people are going out than coming in. So why is that? Well, the number one reason, and you already know this, that people are leaving California is the high cost of living in California. And I'll talk about this more as we go along. By the way, I'm Mike Patel in Anaheim Hills, First Team Real Estate. And I appreciate you watching this uh, video and my channel. And if you're coming here the first time or you've been here several times, I would really appreciate your support. If you can subscribe to my channel, maybe right now, so that every week when I put out these videos, uh, lifestyle about real estate, updates about real estate, what's happening in real estate, you'll be abreast of what's happening in the market. So if you can subscribe, I will really appreciate it. So like I said earlier, the number one reason people are leaving California is the high cost of leaving. The housing prices, the rent prices, the state taxes, the retail taxes, and a lot of other charges. For example, California is the highest when it comes to paying EPA charges, Environmental Protection Agency charges in our gas. Our gas is $3, $4, rest of the nations are a lot less because there's a lot of these charges that we don't even know about. So that's the number one reason that people are leaving California. And I'll talk more in detail about some of the specific things like taxes as we go along. So let's go to the next point. And this is in no order. And by the way, I did an unofficial survey on social media. I've talked to some people, I asked them questions why they would leave or not leave. Uh, I've read reports. So what I'm telling you is based on my opinion and what I found doing, quote, unofficial research. So let's go to the next point. Let's talk about tax increases. Now, when I say taxes, there's several taxes. One is our state income tax, which is pretty high in California compared to other states. Some of the states don't even have state taxes. So that's one thing. Then we have retail taxes, sales tax, which is 7.75%. If you rent a room in a hotel in certain cities, there is what you call occupancy taxes, which is additional. Uh, let's talk about uh, property taxes. In California, right now in Orange County, where I'm in Anaheim Hills, California, the property tax on residential is about 1.1%. But a lot of the new build-outs, new homes, they have additional Melorus taxes. I, won't get, I will not get into details, but just to give you an example, in many fee, I just saw a tract over there built by Kaufman and Broad. They have taxes of 1.9% when you add additional Melrose taxes, which is pretty high. Right now, today is uh, October, third week of October, actually fourth week of October. And we're going to be voting next, next week on November 3rd. And there's two ballots, Prop 19 and Prop 15, that has to do with property taxes. If it passes, they're going to go up. If it doesn't pass, they'll stay the same. So hope that makes sense, that taxes is a big issue. One, we already have a high cost of living, and then we have these additional increases potentially coming up. So I can understand where people are frustrated and they want to move out. A lot of them are moving out, and a lot of them can't move out because they have family here, they have jobs over here, the kids are going to school or they're in teams, so they're stuck. So it's a tough situation either way. Let's go to the next point. The next point, which is kind of a touchy subject to talk about, but it's important that I point it out because it came out. And that has to do with the cultural attitudes and cultural indifferences. I won't talk more about it. I'm sure you get the point or hopefully you can get the point. Uh, but feel free to comment and I'll give you my personal opinion on, on that. So I'll leave at that and move on to the next point. Let's go back to the high home prices and high rent control. We all know that prices are very high as far as buying homes, especially Orange County. The median uh, home for Anaheim Hills is almost $750,000. Orange County, it's over $700,000, which is very high. But if you look at it in perspective, what does that mean? 
Well, I don't have the exact numbers, but to put it in perspective, a lot of people who are buying homes right now or renting right now, more than 50%, maybe up to 60%, in some areas, 70% of their checks, payroll checks, are going towards rent or house payments, which is very, very high. By the time you pay your health insurance, you pay your property taxes, you pay gas prices, you hardly have any money left to eat anything. So, so our cost of living is very high, especially when it comes to home prices and home renting. What I call, or what some people have called it, ridiculous prices. On the other hand, there are people who can afford it and they are buying homes in droves. Right now, there's shortage of homes and there's multiple offers. So there's two sides of the coin. People are still buying homes and people are fed up of buying homes. So not sure what side of the coin you're on, but there's two scenarios. By the way, please stay tuned till the end of this uh, video. I have some free offers for you and free requests for you. So if you hang on till the end, I'll give you those pointers. And also don't forget to subscribe while you're watching this video. So let's move on to the next point, why Californians are leaving uh, out of state to Nevada, to Texas, to Idaho, to Montana, to Florida, to Oregon, all those states where housing is much cheaper and it's a slower lifestyle. The next point I want to talk about is the residents of California. They are fed up with the bureaucracies and the politics of business and regulations. And I'll give you a quick example. The, the regulations they make on business affects us as consumers, as residentials, as renters. One example is Tesla, for example, in the Bay Area is moving their plant out of California because of regulations. Uh, whether they are asking for too much or not, that's a political argument. But they are leaving and going to Austin, building a huge mega plant. And what that does is, number one, puts a lot of people unemployed because some people may not go to Austin. And then a lot of people will move to Austin because they love their job, they love Tesla and they're going to move out. Toyota, uh, HP, a lot of these big companies have moved to uh, Phoenix, they've moved to Dallas, they moved to Florida, they moved to Atlanta. So they, when the companies move, these huge companies move, they take jobs with us. At the same time, they put people out of out of jobs. So, so the politics, the bureaucracies, the political regulations, the workmen's comp effect of all these has a significant impact on people moving out of California or for that matter, staying in California. Hope that makes sense. The next issue is traffic in California. A lot of people I know work in downtown or in the metro areas, but they live in Riverside or Corona, which is maybe 30, 40 miles away, but it takes them two hours to get there. So traffic is a big issue. For example, right behind me, if you can see, is a 91 freeway. And if you go east that way, it's a 91 east. If I stand here at three or four o'clock on a normal work day, there will be a traffic jam. Just going from here, which is Anaheim Hills, going to Corona, which is on a normal day, 10, 15 minutes, will take you almost an hour to get there, and maybe two hours to get to Riverside and Moreno Valley. So traffic is a big issue because people drive up and drive down. My gardener, I've had him for 20 years, Tony, real nice gardener, lives in Riverside and comes to Anaheim Hills every day. It takes him more than an hour to hour and a half. So what his son does, is leaves at four in the morning, parks his car on his first job site, sleeps in the car, and then starts work. It's a big impact on lifestyle, traffic, which is pretty, pretty sad to hear. So thank you for keeping watching. I have one more point, and then I'll end the video. So the last point I wanna talk about is overcrowding and population in California, especially in the metro areas. There's a lot of overcrowding, there's a lot of population. People want to stay in metro areas like Orange County, Los Angeles, San Francisco Bay Area, San Diego downtown area. And there's not enough housing, there's not enough parking, there's not enough uh, movement as far as traffic goes. So the overcrowding and the population, people are just fed up. So they want to go to slower areas, slower lifestyle areas like Montana, Idaho, some parts of uh, Arizona. So all those factors really affect the lifestyle. Hope this makes sense. If you have other reasons why people are moving out of California, please comment below because I may do another report down the road 
and I can use your reasoning for that. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, as I promised earlier, I have a free offer for you. And in the description, I have two guides, free booklets. One is on when you're moving, what questions to ask your realtor. The second is if you're selling your home, because maybe you're moving and you want to sell your home, then what are the questions, critical questions you can ask your agent or realtor to buy a home and to sell a home. So I have those three booklets. The other offer I want to make to you is that if you're moving out of state and if you need any resources, I belong to a network of the top 3% of all the agents in the United States. So if you need any uh, booklets, relocation guides in any city in the USA, I have access to, to those. I can get them for you. At the same time, if you have questions about buying or selling in this market and finding something out of state at the same time, I'll be glad to give you pointers. And you don't have to use me, but use those pointers and then ask your realtor to help you with that. So I'm here to help you. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.